What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we're going to make a very simple and easy uh, mission objective system, okay? So you, uh, you know, pass into a certain zone, it will be a trigger and then you have a UI that will say current mission or objective and you basically um, will just update and you know where to go. It's gonna be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Also, first of all, I wanna thank because we have reached 2K subscribers, so thanks to everyone that has been supporting me on all the tutorials that I've been making. I really, really appreciate you guys. Now, yes, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so first of all, let's make the actual trigger zones that will change our current mission, okay? Uh, so let's just go ahead and go to the content browser, and we're gonna go ahead and right click, and I'm gonna go into blueprint class it's gonna, because it's gonna be just an actor that will be just sitting in the world. So it's a character, and then basically I'm just gonna call this BP uh, mission object. Um, uh, actually, gonna just mission trigger, okay? It, because it's it just what it is. It's a trigger for the mission. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open it up. And what we're gonna have here is very simple. Uh, so first of all, we need a certain um, type of collider so we can know when the character has gone through. So let's search for collision. I just uh, add a simple box collision, and that would just be aligning uh, the area. Okay, it's gonna be our uh, trigger. You can call it however you want, and there we go. That's pretty much it. Now, what we will do is go into the triggers um, events section. And we're gonna have one in the on component begin overlap, which is when an object will um, just go through. And it's very important that it will be set up automatically, but it is set to overlap all dynamic because if it's set to, for example, no collision, it will not do anything. Or if it's set to block all, uh, the player will not be able to go through. <laughs> so this will, you know, be uh, allow the player to go through, but um, still uh, with events. So what we're going to do is make sure that the object actor is the player. So to do this, what we're going to do is just cast to third person character or whatever character you're using for the blueprint of the first person or whatever. And what they will do is that if the cast is true, it will be a player. So that's a quick way of doing it. Now, what we're going to have is a new variable on this um, on this trigger, which is going to be the um, new uh, mission to set. So when we pass three, uh, pass through here, it will just update this function so we'll change the variable type to be a string we can type everything that we want and what we're going to do is uh, expose it so this will mean uh, if we click the I on here that we can change it from the uh, from the in-game scene which will be just easier for us to change so you will see in a second so now what we have to do is change the um, characters mission a current mission to the new one so let's go back into third person character and what we're going to do is go to the events graph but we're going to create a new function so you just click on here and this will be uh, update mission so basically this will just update the current mission that we have so for this we have to create a new variable which will be the current mission so just press this here current mission and then we'll change the uh, type into a string again okay so now what we could do is you drag this uh, current mission and we're going to set it and we're going to set it with the new uh, input that uh, the new mission for the trigger will give us. Okay, so when we call it, we'll just pass and we'll have it on here. Okay, so now we can just compile and save and go back into our mission trigger and drag from the third person character because we're accessing both the blueprint and then we can just say um, update mission and there we go and we have our um, mission to place here and then we can just drag in our uh, mission uh, new mission to set variable and it will set it basically and I think that we can do just test real quick even though we're gonna make a UI in a second I just go here and just print string um, with the text so we'll just print and screen the new objective even though like I said we're gonna make a UI for it so now let's go ahead and place uh, place it on the scene so for example we can just go over next to well actually up here in this um circle and just i'm gonna drag it and place it over here there we go and then what we're going to do is just rescale it to make it bigger so literally just start scaling it there we go like this and just to cover the area that you want the player to be up with a new mission when it uh, reaches it so when you have uh, kind of the size that you want, you hear that we have the exposed variable. This is very important when we did with the eye, it is so that it basically appears here, so now we can change it. 
An example, this will be, for example, kill all enemies. For example, so now if we press play and we reach the uh, trigger point and we jump, you can see up there in the left uh, corner, well, I'm gonna go again. You can see that it says kill all enemies. It's so really cool. The mission is actually updating. Uh, now there's a problem and it's basically that um, it's, you know, we can basically go ahead and do it all the times that we want. And we pretty much only want to do it one time. So let's just go into our mission trigger and it's so easy as just, um, uh, well, after checking that it's the player, before we update the mission, we're gonna do a do once. And literally, it will just do it once because we are not gonna reset it, so it will just do it once for this specific trigger in the scene. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, you know, set up the UI pretty much. So now we can delete the string because we can know that it's working. And let's just go ahead and create a new widget. So right click, use interface, widget blueprint, and create a normal user widget. Let's call it WP underscore mission, something like that. And now let's go ahead and open it. All right, so now when it's open, what we're going to do is just add a canvas. Let's go into the palette here. Canvas panel, we just add it over here, and there we go. So now we can place things on the canvas. So what we're going to do is just place a normal text, and let's just do it, for example, up here. And let's just um, place over here and change the... Uh, this is going to be like the title, so it's going to be uh, mission. Well, current mission or whatever you want to call it. Also, uh, objective or whatever you want. Let me guess you can say current mission. And just place over here. And then what we're going to do is just place the... Um, the anchors in the corners. Uh, this is just because uh, is the change uh, we change the resolution on the screen size. It will align perfectly on the screen. And now what we want to do is add a scale box. We go, just drag it over here and just place it around here with the size that you want uh, a block of text to be appear. Of course, I just have kill enemies, but you have a more detailed explanation of the mission. It will fill up more space. So kind of just place it and then remember to put the anchors over here. So now you can see that um, um, we have some details over here that we can change. First of all, the stretch direction, I'm just going to say that's going to be down only. So when it, the text reaches the end, it will not go also up, but only down basically. So now we can just drag the text to be inside our block. You can see that it aligned now it's a child over here. And now what we have to do is just align, align it just uh, into the left and the top. We can also change a bit the uh, uh, size of the font. And there we go. We can see that we have basically everything over here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now we have set up our thing. So just click on the text. Um, uh, I'm gonna just change it into be uh, current mission text so oh. uh, so this is important because we're gonna be using this reference of the loop of the variable sorry and then just click is variable so it will appear as variable okay so now we can compile and save now let's go back in a third person character blueprint and let's go back into the events graph and just type in the begin play so uh, when we start the game we'll basically create a widget Create widget. There we go. Uh, now we have to select the class of the widget, which is oh, WP mission. The only player is going to be the get player controller. It's going to be us basically. And the return value, uh, we are basically going to do a thing and it's save it as a variable. So just right click, uh, promote to variable, and it's going to be the uh, mission widget because we will need it in a second. And then just drag in this and then say add to viewport. So we'll add into the screen. All right, so now I will basically add into screen. As you can see, we press play. You see uh, in the left, we have the UI, current mission, mission here. But of course, it's, it will not update. I guess if, if I go here and I just jump, it will not do anything because we're not, we haven't done anything. So just go over here and we have to do is go into our update mission function. And just after we set the, uh, the, the new string to be, what we have to do is just get the mission widget uh, variable that we did and then just drag it and say get text and then we can see that we have the variable that we created get current mission text so now that we have a reference to that text variable we can just say set text so now we can set the text of that one and it will be in our case the current mission so uh, we can just drag it over here get it and then just plug it in here it will convert it into um, into text 
five. There we go. So now if we press play, you can see that we have just mission here of course you can disable if we have, don't have anything but just go over here jump and now you can see that it replaces with kill all enemies it's really cool what we can do also real quick is just play a sound for example so play sound and 2d is okay and then we can just select a different sound for example this one is okay and then what we can do also is uh to show you i can just uh you know duplicate this mission trigger put one over here in the side two and change it to be um jump and die <laughs> for example so now we're with display you can see if i go here the sound plays it updates kill enemies and then i go back here and then you can see jump and die and it plays the sound and of course if i go back because with the do ones it doesn't play again so you guys that was the tutorial if you found it helpful uh and you enjoyed watching use uh i would really appreciate it you like the video and subscribe um and yeah oh with all that said bye bye